Yeah, I always had a theory, you know what I mean, about um how we would how we would invent the the smell of vision, meaning a television where you could smell from, like if they were cooking some food, you know what I mean, or a taste of vision, you know what I mean? You could eat you could eat, even taste the food. You know what I mean? But first we're gonna start off with the smelling concept of my logical thinking, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I I think that this right here, I think um when, when someone's on drugs, like let's say LSD or um, any kind of drug that causes you to hallucinate, like Flocka, crystal meth, a, a very strong drug that causes you to hallucinate, <clears throat> what's happening in their um, minds and brains is the neuron strikes. Let's, like just, uh, there was just a video that went viral on my page, Alan Lewis Jr.'s page, The Bread Thingy. It's uh, when the guy took some salvia, he smoked some salvia, and the salvia had him thinking that it, there was a waterfall in the um in the in the room when there wasn't a waterfall in a room and he was adamant that there was a waterfall in the room <laughs> you know he believed that that's because the neurons that were striking in his brain was causing him to think that there's a waterfall meaning that when you're younger when you see a cat when you're young the neurons in your brain strikes a certain way a certain pattern indicating that there's a cat letting your body know and your mind know that there's a cat that you're looking at and it strikes a little differently when you see a dog and it strikes differently when you see a car. But those patterns stick. Like it's always gonna strike the same way when it sticks. I mean, when, it, um, when it's a certain object. It's always gonna stick, okay? So with that concept, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Let's just say that um, I, could, um, I could sit here and create something that could induce your neurons to strike a certain way in a certain, with certain patterns. I could make certain neurons strike if I wanted to. Uh, multiple neurons at once. Let's just say um, it, C in the cat was neurons A, C, and letter F. All I got to do is create a, a, a machine that could strike up your A, C, and F neurons at the same time, and you will see a cat in your mind. If it, if it, that's the that's the concept I have. Now, tasting food. Once again, your neurons will strike when you taste like a steak. You know what I mean? Letters B, C, and letter G might strike in your brain. So if I was to create a, a, an invention that will cause those same letters to strike in your brains, B, C, and G, uh, you probably would taste the food again. Because your memory allows you, you ever, you, ever, you ever thought about something before, like a smell that you, you smelt, something that you didn't smell for a long time, it just came in your brain, you smell it again because you thought about it so hard? It's something like that, you know what I mean? Same thing it applies for the taste of vision, but now the, now the tongue is something different. The tongue is as if, because uh, I believe salt is, is, an, um, is a flavor enhancer. That's why you see salt on some Valentine's chocolates. You see salt on uh, margarita drinks like on, the, on the rim of the glass. You know what I mean? So they, they add salt on meats, of course. You add salt on, some people add salt on their fruits, like apple. You taste it more when you add salt. My mom taught me to put salt in my coffee or, or tea. I taste it more when you put salt. I believe the salt plays a... Uh, let me pause this right quick. Uh, I don't have to pause it, I guess. I believe the salt plays a major part in um, opening your pores of your tongue, certain parts of your tongue, and it only hits certain parts of your tongue as if a sh uh, as opposed to as, as if it's a sugar, it hit another part of your tongue. If it was a pepper, it hit another part of your tongue. Different portions of your tongue picks up different tastes you know what I mean <clears throat> and um I believe that if we could strike those uh tongue nerves let's just say that um I could hit the portion of the salt hit the portion of the pepper hit the portion of the um let's just say uh the lemon that picks up the lemon and you'll probably taste some um those flavors if I could hit those portions you know what I mean you put something in your mouth like a mouthpiece that, that touches your tongue, and now you can taste the food. Uh, if when you're watching the television, let's just say you hook up a, a cable to a television that you put a, put it to your mouth, and it, it t touches the tongue. Now you can taste the food all through the mind, just like just like smelling all through the fucking nose, or through the mind. You know what I mean? So that's my concept on smell of vision, taste of vision, and how that could be achieved. You know what I mean? So what what your comments is on the um. I want to know what your comments are about that. Does it make sense to you or does it, it does not make sense? Or do they already have that technology? How does it go? All right, go ahead, like this um, video, share this channel, share the video too.
um, and hit the bell, select all to get more notifications. All right, the bread thing. Bye, Tootin' a Sardin' and a bread.